Thank you for joining us, America. Linda is with us in Houston, Texas. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show, Linda. Hi, thank you for taking my call. Um, I apologize if, um, if I sound a little bit nervous. My question is... Okay, you're going to um, have to speak got... a little more directly into your phone. You're muffled. Okay, I'm sorry. That's um, okay. I got, served, I got served some papers. I'm being sued by American Express. Um, mm-hmm. And I just wanted to know... Um, I don't have the money to pay them. So mm-hmm. I wanted to know what my options are. Um, can they garnish my wages? Not in Texas. Okay. Texas doesn't um, do garnishment. You can. Okay, ver- you then, should verify I, that with an attorney. I'm not one. Okay, because when I called the lawyer to try to set up a payment plan, he, he wanted to know where I worked, how much I made, what you know my expenses were. You didn't tell him any of that, um, I hope. No, no, I didn't. I actually Good. just hung up on it. Good. That's perfect. Um, how much do you owe American Express? Um, 58, but with... 58 the, what? 58,000. I mean, I'm sorry, 5,800. I feel better now. For a second, I was about to pass out. Okay. And, no, 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 5,800. <laughs> and, and what do you guys, are you married? No, I'm a single mother. And what do you make a year? 43,000. 43,000. Okay. And uh, why have you gotten behind with them? Um, just um, medical reasons. Um, I had uh, medical issues um, after I had my child. Meaning you weren't um, able to work? Yes, I wasn't able to work, and I was trying to catch up paying the medical bills. I got you. Okay. And so how much in medical bills do you have today? Um, none. I've actually completely done with that. Phenomenal. Way to go. How much other debt do you have? Um, I have 60000 in student loans and about 20 in credit cards. Okay. And uh, do you have the student loans on hardship deferral, I assume? Um, I did, um, but now I am just making uh, monthly minimum payments. Of how much? Um, I, it, it, I think it's like 150 mm-hmm. that I pay a month. Okay, gotcha. All right. And how many children do you have, honey? Um, just one. Okay. All right. And uh, you, do you receive child support? Yes. Okay. And is that included in the 43000 you gave me? Uh, no, sir. How much is your child support uh, a year? Um, I roughly get three hundred a month. Okay, so about another three thousand, four thousand dollars a year. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Right. Not getting rich on that. All right. Um, what is your car payment? Um, I don't have a car payment. Good. That was a test. I want to make sure your new car was a debt. Okay. Good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, I got rid of that last. Okay. Week. Here's the thing. Um. You need to double check with a lawyer, like I told you, if you want to, because I'm not a lawyer, so I don't give out legal advice. But my understanding is that Texas does not allow garnishment of your wages, and so they're not going to scarf your wages. They're just going to take a judgment lien against you, um, which is not good, but it's better than you know a lot of things that could happen in a lot of places you could live. So uh, basically, you're going to have a very large bad debt laying there. As you have discovered, American Distress is a horrible company to work with. Yes. They have spoken to you in ways you never thought a human was going to speak to you, haven't they? Yes. They are unbelievable. Their collection tactics are off the charts. I will never do business with American Express again because of the way they treat people and treated me when I was in your situation many years ago. So, anyway, um, what, what are we going to do? Well, we got to get rid of the 5,800, but we don't have to panic because they don't really have a lot of power because they can't take anything you got. Okay. Now, but we do long term want to clean it up. But there's something right. about the way they've been yelling at you, along with you having gone through medical, along with the fact you now have lawsuit papers and lawyers in your life that scares the crud out of you, right? Correct. Yeah, I thought so. I understand. So. The first thing we need to understand is there's not anything to be scared of because there's not anything they can do. If I'm right, and I am, about whether they can garnish you your wages, they can't in Texas, then you got nothing to fear. There's nothing they'll be able to do. They'll get a lawsuit against you, and they'll just have a lawsuit laying there that someday you're going to have to go clean up. So you're going to go clean it up. You want to pay it someday in some way, right? Yes. Okay. So. Number one is nothing to worry about. You're going to be all right. Number two, I'm going to put you in our Financial Peace University class learning how to handle money. 
because I think you've done a pretty good job with the horrible situation you're in. Actually, I I am just enrolled in a class. Oh, really? Very cool. Good. Okay. Then I'm going to add to that and hook you up with one of our financial coaches as my gift. So a one-on-one okay. person can sit down with you, and they'll help you with the American Express mess. Okay. No, no cost to you, okay? Okay. All right. Now, here's what you're going to end up doing when you work with the coach, so you'll know. The $5,800 can be settled once it's this delinquent, and it's very delinquent. Um, the $5,800 can be settled for probably $0.50 cents or less on the dollar. So somewhere around 3000 bucks will make this go away. You don't have 3000 bucks to offer them today. But you need to start saving towards that with a detailed, in-depth budget. And as soon as you can get around $3,000, you call that attorney firm and just say, hey, I'm working with a financial coach, and they said to call you because, you know, I've got a $5,800 judgment. And they'll say, oh, no, it's 8000 now because it's got all these attorney's fees added to it. And you're going to say, I understand, but I don't have 8000 I don't have 5800 I do have 3000 however, and if you'd like to settle for that, we will give you the $3,000 as settlement in full. And you'll be able to work this thing down in a lump sum settlement that you get in writing or you don't give them any money. Okay? okay. And you don't give them any personal information on you at all because I don't want them calling and hassling your employer. I don't want them calling your neighbors. I don't want them bothering you anymore. Okay? okay. And yeah. you'll be able to settle this for pennies on the dollar of some kind, two, 3000 bucks, somewhere in there. I'd start calling them when you had two. And if they uh -huh. don't take it, just keep up in the offer until you get to three. And somewhere in there, they'll take the offer. Okay. But you just got to know, you're not dealing with good humans. Right. Y you, I, are I not who, you are not who they said you are. They are scum. Okay. You are not. You're a single mom out there fighting the bear with a switch, trying to raise two kids who had a medical problem and couldn't work and got behind on our bills. That's not scum. That's good people who had a tornado come through their life. That's all that is. And you'll survive. You'll get up on the other side of this. And five years from now, this will be a story you're telling some other single mom who's scared. And you'll be up the other side of this thing and have it whipped. Not only this, but the credit cards and the student loans also. It's all going to be gone in five years. All of it. And okay. I'm going to show you how and walk with you, okay? Okay. You're going to make it. You hear me? Thank you. You hear me? Okay. You are. All right. You hold on. I'm going to have Kelly pick up and get you hooked up with one of our coaches and walk with you through this thing. You know why most people don't win? They don't bother. You have to bother. You have to be intentional. Never again is American Express going to call my house and ask my wife why she would stay with a man that won't pay his bills. 